Hi everyone, today I'm going to be reviewing the Tsfong M10 Max 2K dash cam. So let's get to it and see what's in the package. When buying this dash cam, it comes with 128 gigabyte high speed memory card, so plenty of storage. Next we have the sensor radar and hardwire box, which we'll get back to shortly. Now let's see what we get in the box. Nicely packaged. Have the instruction manual in various languages. We then have the rear facing camera. Let's get it out. Plenty of wire to connect to the main dash cam. This camera is full HD 1080p. Feels very nice. Lightweight but feels durable. Not like some cameras that feel quite cheap. This doesn't feel like that. Then we have the charging cable for the dash cam. Plenty of wire. Mm -hmm. Next we have the suction cup for the front facing camera, which is a nice addition, especially if you want to use the camera in multiple cars. And now for the front facing camera. This is a four channel dash cam with built in left and right side cameras. This is currently the most multi lens camera in the industry at the moment. The front lens resolution is 2K, well, the side cameras are 1080p, this is the highest resolution for a 4 channel dash cam. A little surprise under the camera, a bag of free gifts. So first up we've got some wipes and that's to clean the glass. Electrostatic stickers for the placement of the camera. USB-C cable to connect to the PC. Then you have a USB memory card adapter for easy uploads. Great little addition. Extra sticky pads, always handy. Then you have the trim tool to help hide the wires during install. Then we have the CBL filter, which I will attach shortly. Some additional cable clips. And now we come back to the sensor radar and hardwire kit. A great little addition from Tsfong. This parking sensor is a hardwired into the fuse box, which means when the vehicle is parked, if motion is detected near the car, the camera will record. At the back of it you have the on and off option. And now back to the CPL filter. This attachment is for the front facing camera. This filter is used to help reduce glare and reflection on the windscreen, making for a clearer image. We're all set up now, let's check out the menu. So, we have Wi-Fi, the LEDs, the infrared, infrared LED, sorry. Uh, okay, so you can have them on auto, off or on. Uh, loop record. Oh, it's one minute, two minute, three minutes. I like to keep mine at two. You have the G sensor, off, high, middle, or low. I like to keep it off. These are quite sensitive. Uh, language, so whatever language you'd like. English, obviously. 
Obviously, volume. It's quite high actually. Let's turn that down a bit. Screen saver, so obviously the screen will go blank and probably show a time. That's what most of them do. Uh, clock settings, format memory card, which you have to do when you first put the memory card into the dash cam. Reset option. Uh, GPS, it has GPS, which is great because that shows your speed. Uh, adjust, uh, speed adjust. The unit, so you can have it off, have it in kilometers or miles per hour. Uh, time zone, daylight saving. Left and right camera both turn 180 degrees, which is absolutely great. They both turn nicely, nice and smooth. So really, you're getting a 360 degree angle. And at the top here, you can start recording, you can stop recording. Uh, what's, yeah, this one, you can change the cameras, which one do you want to view? That's the back camera. Video quality here is absolutely amazing. The left and right camera do a really good job, just as well as the front one does. And now the back camera. The image quality is just as good. You can see that number plate perfectly. Overall, I think this is a great dash cam, especially if you're on a budget. At £94.39, you can't go wrong. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching.